On June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Cold Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to ICO participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Cold Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. For University and U19 category, the Cold Space server will send the robot its own coordinates while the robot is searching in the virtual world. The location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategy such as path planning and search algorithms. Additionally, for University and U19 categories, there are signal block zones which are surrounded by pink dotted lines. When a robot enters the signal block zone, its coordinates information will be blocked. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. Hi everyone, I'm Terence, a finalist in the International Cold Space Online Challenge, and I'll be introducing more about myself, my past experience, and the strategies I use for this challenge. My full name is Chan Zuman Terence. I'm born in Singapore and I'm studying in Nanyang Junior College. I'm currently in my second year there, which should be equivalent to 12th grade. I am participating in the RCAP Cold Space Rescue Challenge U19 for this IQ challenge. I have been involved in robotics since I joined my school's robotics club last year. Through my past 1.5 years of experience, I have refined my programming skills and have participated in various robotics competitions. The most notable competition would be RoboCup Singapore, where my team got first local team in the RoboCup Junior Rescue Cold Space category. For this IQ challenge, I have used three main strategies, bit mapping, A-star pathfinding, and trigonometry. At the start of the challenge, we are given the image file of the map. What I would do is to mark out the specific regions where objects are likely to be at. I will then convert this new image into a 360 by 270 array for the use in the robot C++ program. Furthermore, I will set the regions the robot should visit in order. This will allow the robot to collect objects from all over the map instead of focusing and draining out one specific area. When the program is being run on the robot, the robot will move between these different object regions. It uses A-star pathfinding to calculate the shortest path in real time. With the help of trigonometry, when the robot is moving between two points, it calculates the angle it should turn to. This enables it to move and reach that point rather accurately. Some other strategies used would be trap avoidance, the collection and deposition of objects, and wall avoiding. And this strategy would usually get me about 1,500 to 2,000 points. For the IQ challenge, my submission on 20th of June achieved about 2,000 270 points. Overall, through this learning, through this cold space experience, I've learned various interesting and enriching things. For example, I learned about how to refine and optimize the movement of the robot. I've learned how to code in C++ more efficiently. And also I learned new algorithms such as pathfinding and so on. And with that, that's all for me. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone. I'm Ono Kazuki. 
I am not good at English, so my English grammar may be incorrect. I am from Japan, which is located in the East Asia. My goal at this competition is to get first prize in this ICO competition. I am involved in LCP Cospace Rescue Challenge under 19. I have been involved in robotics three years. I have participated in RoboCup Junior World Robot Summit and RoboLab competitions. I use C++ to program Cospace Robot. My strategy is go to preset coordinated coordinates to go to place that can get many objects or deposit area. I use I use three economy metric functions to calculate the degree from my robot to target coordinate. This makes it possible to go any place you want. I'm working on this course space for two years. At first, I couldn't do anything because I didn't know everything. But I learned how to write source code and good strategy to get higher score. Mr. Hikaru, who is my senior at my school, teached me. I want to I want to compete with with many genius participate participants. Thank you for listening. And off we go! In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Blue Robot is searching in the blue special area. Any objects picked up in this area will double in value. Red Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. It can generate a super object. Blue Robot has entered the black object area, and the black object is worth 20 points. Blue Robot travels out of the boundary. System resets it back to the field and freezes it for 10 seconds. Rat Robot is depositing. Red Robot has picked up a Super Plus object, that is 180 points. Red Robot is full. Red Robot is depositing.
Blue Robot is full. Blue Robot travels out of the boundary. System resets it back to the field and freezes it for 10 seconds. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is looking for a black object. Blue Robot is searching in the blue special area. Any objects picked up in this area will double in value. Blue Robot has picked up a Super Plus object, that is 180 points. Blue Robot has overtaken Red Robot. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is depositing. One minute left. Blue Robot is leading. Blue Robot travels out of the boundary. System resets it back to the field and freezes it for 10 seconds. Red Robot is in the swamp. Speed is restricted. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot wins this challenge. Congratulations.